So Franz, a Dr. Mario player, most notably known for probably this performance right here that kind of brought him to the attention of many people who didn't know. But I think when you're when you're like a when you're like a curb or you're like a, a Franz or you're someone who plays this weird character that people don't get to see a lot, people generally know more about you. Of a player of similar caliber playing like Fox or Sheik or Marth, there's a less chance the general melee public knows about you. But I think a lot of people, again, especially for this performance know about Franz. So Nut, uh, the 10th best in SoCal, a little above him. Um, and again, I wish we had the full results. It looks like from what we got here, we got two losses to Nut and three losses at one and three against Nut. So I would assume from the small data set we have here that Franz generally loses to Nut. Yeah, that's on the short list for the bout. Yeah, but I don't think either of these are bad losses. I'll, may, I'll hit this with the around the range kind of loss highlight thing. Like, and, and Soar is the second best player in Australia, if I remember correctly. I don't know if, when their latest PR is from. Um, he plays Fox, Australian player, very talented. So again, not really too concerned about that. I forget where Curve is ranked in his region 18th in socal go down flute umarth again losses to players right in that kind of category um and then here's the the big big kicker and where's i feel like i, I missed a bunch of these oh i should have looked again because i did this on like friday night and then i did the rest of them today uh where is aura or is second in oregon but the hugs and meds wins, mainly I'd say the meds win. The hugs win really isn't of super, super value, I'd say. The meds win. What gave meds to be ranked so high on 2019? I feel like he's he's another one of those players who everyone like recognizes the name, but I forget exactly why meds was so good for the first half of the year. Oh, the 4-4 on Axe is definitely uh, useful to have. Went on Pew Pew. Went on KGH, went on Lucky, two up on Army. Yeah, okay, now that it's coming together, it makes sense. Because um, locals were looking to see greater trends. And seeing that meds can consistently, like, keep it up there with Axe is pretty sick. Oh, wow, and he even beat him 10-3 at Battlefield 11. That's a nutty set. Let's see, where, what other of these wins I would want to highlight? Is Squid actually still in the belt? Squid did not have a pretty year. Like, I know Squid's a great player but squid did not have a pretty year at all for losses he's got a lot of these losses around and most of them are coming from nut and i think once we if we had a full area data set which we will for the bout on how he performs at locals i'd imagine that he generally loses to uh nut but i'm i'm surprisingly less impressed less impressed at franz's resume than i thought i would like if you take out if you take out this tournament if you take out this tournament i don't think this 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 is a resume of a player who makes top 100. i think it's it's the meds win that really carries it for me and i don't know it's hard to gauge for me how good a meds win is let me um uh, meds is still going to be top 50 from what i briefly saw from his resume but i think it's time for the the tried and true curb test and i feel bad someone's gonna come to me with like oh yeah curb has like seven more events that you're missing out on here and i'm definitely missing some curb events but hopefully it's not that dramatic uh, would i rather have curb's resume um or would i rather have friends's resume i think i'd rather i think that's a very like easy choice for me that i think i'd rather have friends's resume like he does have a curb does have a lot of wins or for around the players here his big hallmark win being ryan ford um but they don't neither of them are really tremendously consistent from what they have here Curb has more depth of wins at the around the the area these two are at. I think Curb's floor is a whole lot lower. So looking at both these resumes, I'm not like tremendously impressed by either of these. Like I'm not willing to bet on either of these players to have a tremendous uh, 2020 from what we can see here. Oh, I won't bet my life on Soonsei, but I'm much more willing looking at Soonsei's resume, even though he doesn't have the peaks of wins as these two guys. Well, I guess the Rishi hugs, he's, he's got good wins, but he doesn't have like the, the big standout one tournament, like hugs, mats, or event. Or I guess Curb's thing is Ryan Ford. He really doesn't have a standout event in any capacity. I guess you'd say Gigahog. Um, but I'd I'd put my money on soon say before I'd put it on either of these two. But I think between these two, I'd put my money first on Franz than I would on Curb. To sum up Franz and where I think he's gonna end the year, um But it's been a year where everyone like Franz Franz has a hugs and a meds win. Curb Curb is a Ryan Ford win. Like everyone has like a couple of pretty decent wins. So 
if you don't have like the consistency or the depth of wins to back that up, you're going to fall behind. Like there's been so many big upsets this year. So it's like if you have a bananas win, like that's cool. But a lot of people have bananas wins and hugs wins and West balls wins. Ryan Ford wins. You got to bring something more to the table. I think he makes the top 100. Meds win is surprisingly good. He hasn't been to much, um, but I think Meds is probably still around the top 50. Hugs is probably like a top 70 player. Um, his his results, his head-to-heads in region are going to be interesting to see, but I think Franz probably makes it on, like I was saying before, maybe like 85 to 105. Like there's a chance he doesn't make it, but I think he probably... He probably sneaks it. Again, it was near the end of the ranking. It depends on what the resumes of the other players around here look like, which is why we're taking a look at a lot of the players around here so we can get a better feel for this end of the resume. But yeah, I think that about does it for Franz. I'm interested. I would love to see him improve and like go in an upward trajectory. But from his results from the year, we're not really seeing any sort of trend upwards or, or downwards, really. It seemed just kind of stagnant at best the main stage the main stage uh run is really dope um but i don't think we're seeing any sort of trends among these results that we have here